look, thanks very much for making your time available on a, a busy day. Last year, our budget briefing was very popular with our uh, members, and this is another great opportunity, I guess, to hear directly from you uh, what it is that uh, your government are committing in the mental health space in tonight's budget. Sure. Look, firstly, to, to Frank uh, and to everybody with Mental Health Australia, thank you for, for your work. It's just immensely important. We know the challenge. Four million Australians every every year face some form of mental health uh, uh, challenge that they themselves must have to address. So this year uh, we are adding $338 million of new investment uh, for mental health and that's across three themes. Suicide prevention, older Australians uh, and mental health research. In terms of suicide prevention, uh, we've already announced the $33 million to extend the crisis services of Lifeline. Uh, and that's obviously about saving lives and giving people the ability to get the urgent attention at the moment of absolute need. Tonight I'm really delighted to announce uh, an additional $37 million uh, for the work of uh, Beyond Blue and others involved with the Wayback program. And this is about helping those Australians who are discharged from hospital after suicidality or a suicide attempt. This is the moment where so many people are vulnerable and the services, as, as Frank and so many others have pointed out very honestly, haven't been good enough. So we are going to put that funding forward. I understand Beyond Blue will also have funding and they're working with the states to finalise state contributions. So it's a very collaborative program. Going forwards, we then have the Older Australians program. The Older Australians program will be, in particular, uh, focused uh, on two areas, those in residential care and those not. All up, it's a $102 million program. Um, within residential care, there'll be $82 million for mental health services. I know this has been one of your personal passions and sources of advocacy, along with many others, and I want to thank you for that. It's certainly part of our pre-budget submission and we met uh, with yourself and with Minister Wyatt to advance that so we are delighted we, to hear that. We, we didn't miss it. <laughs> uh, and then secondly there's uh, an additional 20 million dollars for mental health nurses within the community for senior Australians many of whom are lonely and isolated and that can contribute to anxiety and depression at a very vulnerable time in their life. And then thirdly long-term research uh, we will be embarking upon the largest mental health research program in Australian history under the Medical Research Future Fund, $125 million for the Million Minds Mental Health Research Program. And uh, that's a 10-year program uh, with even funding throughout. And what that means is we'll aim, with your help, to have better diagnoses, better treatments, better social responses, uh, and to touch a million lives that might otherwise have fallen through the cracks or not had uh, the treatment they should deserve or they deserve and should get or not had any treatment at all. So it's an important budget. In addition, uh, $12 million for the Mental Health Commission. The National Mental Health Commission does a great job, but we're giving it the extra resources to deliver on the fifth National Mental Health Plan and uh, $1.2 million for uh, SANE Australia is very important program of better off with you, better off with you and uh, to everybody involved in that it's our privilege to support. So this is the next step in uh, mental health and uh, I just want to thank Frank you and everybody within the community for your dedication. Thanks, thanks very much and thanks for that uh, summary. I'm sure there'll be, there'll be people that are delighted to, to hear those very specific uh, measures and uh, I might say that particularly I think Seeing a measure that's on a 10-year horizon, I think, is starting to take us to, to places where we need to go. A lot of the, uh, a lot of our work has been short-term, so that'll be welcome. I'll be honest and say we uh, will probably never run out of opportunities to come to you and ask for ask for more. Uh, there's there's so much more to be uh, done, but we thank you certainly for taking the time. As I said at the outset, on a, on a very busy day, and thank you for achieving those uh, spending measures in what's no doubt a hotly contested. Um, uh, government expenditure process. Oh, I think so, it's, so, a, so thank you. it's a shared passion for both of us, but everybody who's watching. Thank you.